what do you know guys welcome back to the channel this is asa speaks studio so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to get the right addicting procedure so let's say you want to addict an image and you don't know where to start from of course this is the right video for you but before that please like share and subscribe so let's get started first thing first except you like the image the way it's looking you don't need to addict but once you don't like it it definitely means that you need to change something but i'm going to be using this image as a case study and from there it applies to any other image you want to addict so you can just get your workflow from there or the procedure or the step-by-step -step process you want to use in addicting the image so that is what this video is about so get let's get started first thing i notice is i don't like the way the video and uh, the image is exposed except you like it you leave it like that and continue and focus on more other problems to fix but me i don't like the lighting so i'm going to fix the exposure first of all and the brightness and the rest of so i'm going to be using my method which is a solid color which functions as a white balance so i'm just going to zoom in and i'm going to double click on the slider and i'm going to pick the white let's say this is the color let's pick this one so wait there and then i'm going to increase it up a little and it's okay and then turn this back on you change the blending mode to divide now look at the difference i'm going to zoom out so let's see before and then after just with the one adjustment layer so you can bring it down and you know make it brighter but i think this is just the best side to put it just because i don't want it to clip i can still go back in and take it all the way up a little bit and it's okay so this is before and then this is after now you need to look for what next do you need to fix now i can see some color variation on a skin so we have some red on the skin right here and this place is less saturated so we're going to be using the u and to correct that so let's grab the u and saturation adjustment layer and i'm going to pick on the end tool and click on the cheek so i'm going to increase the u and let's zoom in and let's take a look at the picture you can see this place is different quite different from the face and the rest part of the body it simply means their color variation we have different kind of color there so it depends on what you want now i want to correct the color so do you want to retain the color of the face or you want to retain the color of the body now it's very important to choose a more um, saturated place and good place to reference so i'm going to turn it back on and then increase the slider till i get where let's take it backwards in that case so something like this and you can see where it's been selected i'm going to take it up now I want the face to look like the back part of the skin. So I'm going to make this, leave the selection there, make this zero, and I'm going to push it all the way up like this. So you can see the difference before and then after the red are gone. So now I'm going to close it and then I'm going to zoom out. So this is what we have before and then which is the red and after, which I just corrected with the um UN saturation i'm going to pick the brush and then i'm going to impact the mask the foreground color to black so i can remove it from the lips because i want the lips red so i'm going to take it away from the lips and also turn it off and on you can see the so we retain the makeup okay so let's turn it off and on is there anything we need no we don't need anything so this is what we have so i'm going to go back to the red i guess it was red and then i'm going to bring it back a little okay so now we have this all right so now i'm still going to make some other correction because this place is actually less saturated compared to the rest part of the face so i'm going to grab the hue and saturation adjustment and i'm going to close it for the now and go to select color range and i'm going to hold down shift and select the back so you can see where it's selected i will decrease this for the now and leave it like this so hold and shift and select some part and then bring it all the way up so i'm going to hit ok and it's going to make the selection on the max you can hold and alt and click so you can see the selection hold and alt and click and it's going to go all right so now i'm going to go ahead go inside 
and it's what do we need to affect is it the saturation or the lightness or the u this time is the saturation so let's pick up the saturation and see what is going to happen so we're just going to bring it up a little and somewhere like 19 should be fine and let's zoom in and let's see what the difference is so we have before you can see how white it is and then after now we brought some colors in now i'm going to create this time visible layer control shift other and e to create this time visible layer i'm going to group the um, adjustments which is the first one and then we have from here and then to here now we can do some frequency separation because ah the air are everywhere and on our face it's actually rough and we need to blend the skin more even though we've adjusted it some things so you want to do frequency separation so i'm going to quickly do this and i'll come back to the video name this texture so see you when i'm done with the frequency separation all right so this is the frequency separation you can see and this are before and then this are after let me zoom in before and then this is our after so i removed some kind of things now it now left for the next step which is to make some enhancements and i'm going to create this time visible layer for that control shift and e and sometimes you can add your artificial eyelashes of course we can do that so i'm going to grab the artificial eyelashes and fix it all right so we have this and before so i just decrease the opacity to like 50 percent all right so the next thing i'm going to try to make the eyes and teeth white so we can turn this off if you want to maintain the originality of the image so i'm just going to grab the solid color adjustment again and then turn it off pick the you know the white part and turn it back on divide and i'm going to invert the mask control i i'm going to pick on the brush tool okay so i'm still on this one i'm going to pick the normal tool brush normal brush and i'm going to zoom in and let's paint on the white program color should be white and we can paint on the lips even if it's bright now just don't worry about that we're going to fix it later so we have this and let's go ahead go back inside and take it all the way up so to have it bright i just want the the brightness of it if that's too much you can decrease let's still take it up a little so somewhere there should be fine so we have before and after just a little bit um, shine and then i'm gonna add the photo filter and go ahead with it with this look and i'm going to hold that out and drag this to replace the layer marks and then we have it like this so you can see it's whiter now compared to before we can turn this off and we have our normal image but this just add a little bit of shine to it okay so uh i think that should be okay for the now except for the eyes but i'm just gonna leave it like that we can go inside and you know bring it back down to make it more you know bright and white so i think i like it like this you can decrease your opacity later so hold on control shift and it e to create a stem visible layer and let's drag it above and i'm going to go to filter camera or filter all right so take note on what i fix you just go step by step and you're going to know what to fix you know i'm going to go to the exposure and i'm going to bring up the highlight and bring up the highlight like this and let's see about the white take it all the way up and i think we could we could bring down the blacks just a bit and maybe increase the shadows all right so give it some texture and then we're done with the basic go to let's go to the curve and you know create an x curve like this and to create dimension i'm gonna close that i'm gonna go to the color mixer and I want to enhance more on the, you know, the lips. So I'm going to hit the red. Sorry. Go to the U. Make sure we have the red like this. And I'm going to leave the orange and this one. Just go to the saturation and increase the saturation of the red like this. You have it. 
and then the orange is going to increase but it's affecting the air so i'm going to leave it like let's reset that and let's take up the yellows and just this one a little bit so I'm gonna leave somewhere around four should be fine and i'm going to close it we can use the calibration and let's see which fits the image better so eight and take this forward or backwards and then mess around with this so if any it's not looking fine we could leave it let's just leave it it doesn't you know let's try and mess around with the blues it's just changing the uh, color grade so i'm gonna do it like this let's leave it natural and click ok so we have our image here we have before and then after all right so i'm gonna group all these together and group it yeah so i have a uh, an action for lips if you want to change the color of the leaves or any other you can use that action okay so this is where i'm going to stop well, i'm just going to add um vibrance you know sorry i'm adding it below i'm gonna drag it on top and then boost it up just a bit and after adding some vibrance we have this our last image i'm gonna combine the two together make layers and add some color grade so go to color balance and let's start with the highlight and introduce some red let's see about some blues yeah i think I think plus two should be fine let's see all right so plus two should be fine go to the mid tones let's see what we could you know add to it all right so this is what i adjusted from this to this i'm just gonna click ok so we have this to this we can also increase the lightness but i'm going to stop here for the sake of the tutorial so let's group from here to here i'm going to group it together and then we have from this to this so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video once again don't forget this is the workflow you can use just keep on checking on what to adjust and then you're going to be fine so see you in the next video